At last year's World Championships, the Lithuanian team of Drobiasko and Vanegas were dropped from third to fourth place despite a strong free dance. The judges gave the bronze medal to the Israeli team of Chait and Seknovsky. In protest, 38 skaters signed a petition demanding an explanation. Albana Denkova from Bulgaria presented the petition to the ISU. Would it make a difference? The Israelis have made changes in order to move beyond the controversy. They have a new coach, two-time Olympic champion Yevgeny Platov, but bitterness remains. It's judge work. They decide who is the first, who is the second, who is the third. But first target, it's, it's what are. <coughs> and uh, I heard that I lose a lot of friends. Last week at Skate Canada, results continued to change. The Bulgarians who presented the petition dropped from third to fourth in the free dance. Both teams are here at Nations Cup, and at practice, tension was obvious on the ice. After the compulsory dance, the Bulgarians were in the lead. The Israelis were in third, but the pain remains from last year. They only have one option. It was difficult for us. When we started working with Evgeny, we came to him and, you know, he just said, just don't pay attention to it. You just have to work. You have to show, you know, what you do on the ice is what counts. What counts still is in the mind of the judges. And after the original dance, the standings are changing. The Israelis have moved from third to second with the Bulgarians, Denkova and Stavisky, still in first. We will see the free dance a little later. It looks to be interesting. Terry? You know, they've been friends, yet have never considered the other as a romantic partner. So we thought it would be fun to see what kind of couple they would make off the ice. Here are the basics. So here's what Kati and Renee look for in a good date. In the beginning, I really like men with humor and who, yeah, who is very nice to me and is talking a lot to me. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, a woman should, uh, should be confident. She should know what she wants. Um, I don't like shy uh, girls. At the first date, actually, I look a lot for the eyes because they tell a lot. I don't look only at the outside, but this is important too. So we send them out on a date to see if sparks would fly. <laughs> Rene takes Katy's coat. A true gentleman. In Germany, he's Tour Offenhalter. Nice move, Rene. But this is our first date. <laughs> Renee scores with a toast, or Prost in German. So sweet. He was only talking about him all the time. Oh. He wasn't even asking me what I'm doing. And there was a lady sitting beside me, and she was really looking at me like, oh, poor girl. I would call it a <laughs> rendezvous killer. Yeah, it was really a rendezvous killer, yeah. Rendezvous killer? That's German slang for when your date blows their chance. It's also a sign, uh, a sign for me when, when I really can, can talk about what she was talking, uh -huh. you know, when I got everything and uh -huh. I understood everything and I can then talk to my friends yeah. about I had a date. Do you think it's, it's hard as skaters to date each other? Watch out, Renee. This could be trouble. I think it's better to be friends. When a woman in Germany is not interested, she gives a clue or Heinweisgeben. I say definitely friends. What did they think? I'm not surprised that I had a good date with Rene because it's very good to talk to him. It was fun and uh, I think it's gonna work. I, it could work. I prefer to have Rene as a really good friend. We'll see Kathy.